Well, good morning. I wasn't sure I was going to be doing a video today or not because I do plan to have uh, an interview with the ambassador at some point, although uh, the time difference now between us is seven hours and he has a busy schedule today and I'm not sure what time I'm going to be able to connect with him. It might not be till afternoon my time. So I'm going to go ahead and create a video and uh, the one that I do end up doing with him will be at the first opportunity uh, that I can make it public. This one will go up for uh, actually the 10th of uh, the 10th of March which by the way that's the anniversary that I moved to uh, to Florida uh, 31 years 32 years ago 32 years ago uh, I moved to Florida on the 10th of March so anyway let me change the date there because I put nine which is actually the ninth that this is being recorded and the title of this video is Mother Nature's Other Primary Healing Remedy. I had no idea there was more. And like a sponge, I am willing to drink in new information due to my intense desire to heal myself. Someone shared a link on my previous video to a Lisa Harrison interview with Andrew Norton Weber. It was about distilled water and its benefits. I've explored the pros and cons of this in the past and came to the conclusion that it would have a deleterious effect. I actually thought the two and a half hour video would put me to sleep. I was totally wrong. I listened all the way through and cannot get it out of my mind. Yes, I'm still awake even though I started listening about six hours ago. So. I'm going to talk about another option to consider in our quest for wholeness and healing. Yeah, it was a, a mind-boggling interview because not only did it cover distilled water therapy, it said that there are four main sources of distilled water. It exists in nature, in precipitation, in dew, and there was something else, I can't remember, um, that occur naturally in the Earth's, uh, in the Earth's ecosystem. Okay, distilled water, pure water, pure, unadulterated water. Now, Pure water absorbs things. It's highly absorptive. And he covered that, yes, it absorbs things from the atmosphere, from the ground. It's the perfect cleanser, the perfect solvent. It's go everything goes into solution with water. And, of course, I had previously came to the conclusion that it actually absorbs the calcium from our bones and makes us weaker. Well, that's probably not an accurate description. That's a naysayer's accusation, but not totally accurate. Another source, he said, is fruit juices. Natural fruit juices contain distilled water even though they're in a fruit juice form. I never would have thought of that as being distilled water, but that was his point. Uh, and of course, there's the artificially created distilled water that's done by machine where all the minerals and, and things that are not pure water are boiled out and the distilled water d distillate uh, is formed back in, in the still and we have pure, 100% pure water that has all of its absorptive capacity and uh, attributes intact, ready to do its miraculous work. Now, he didn't name them in that order. He actually named as number two, which I am moved to number four, he named urine therapy. Now, I have friends that have talked about urine therapy in the past. 
and okay, uh, I mean, to each their own. I was a little squeamish about the idea of <laughs> drinking urine <laughs> and uh, putting it in my mouth. I mean, it's not something that appealed to me. But I never argued with people over it. I mean, I've had cl actually friends in my circle uh, that have brought it up from time to time. Uh, and I have friends that I've talked to since I've been doing videos that are very, very much into urine therapy. I didn't consider it something that was for me. I'm in a different spot today than I was before listening to this video, this interview with uh, Mr. Weber. One of the things that he brought up that really got my attention is amniotic fluid. Of course, we know that we begin the first nine months of our lives as humans swimming in a sea of amniotic fluid, which for the first three months, the first trimester, it is our mother's urine that makes up that fluid. But from the beginning of the second trimester, we are now urinating ourselves swimming in, drinking the amniotic fluid, getting nutrients from it, passing it through our body in a, re in a circulation system where it goes in one end and out another end. And it is the substance that is capable of creating physical manifestation. It literally creates whatever it needs according to the imprint of the DNA. Hmm. I never thought of it that way. Never thought that the first nine months of my life was spent swimming in a, in a sea of urine where I actually breathed it as a fish breathes in water. I was able to breathe it. Interesting. Interesting. That's why I'm still thinking about it. That's why I'm talking about it. Now, I don't know that I'm ready yet <laughs> to do the full-blown drinking my own pee. I don't know if I'm there yet, but I am ready, and I did last night <laughs> after listening to the movie take a little bit of urine and rub it on my face because it's a it it will heal the uh, I mean my, if you've noticed my face breaks out and I've had roseola on my nose for a long time and have not been able I've, yet, I've done apple cider vinegar of course hydrogen peroxide I've tried uh, rubbing alcohol and various other things to try to make the swelling and the inflammation on my nose go away. And I've, like my mother, my skin has has been like a teenager's skin from time to time throughout my life. Uh, and it breaks out in, in pimples and, and blackheads and stuff like that. And I squeeze the blackheads, but he said that it'll even make wrinkles go away. It will restore, if we put it on our face and on wounds, it will actually help the wounds heal, but it will restore a youthful look to our skin. Well, if it can do that, I do that, and I actually tasted it, and it, you know, put it under my tongue, you know, put a little bit on my finger and put it under my tongue. Ugh, yeah, I know, that's how I would have seen that before. But it was nothing, it, it was no big deal. And so I don't know where I'm going to go with it, but I do know this. Distilled water, while not as good as urine, is the next best thing. It's nature's purity. Just plain water, thank you very much. And it has tremendous health benefits after listening to him. And it 
will do what the earthing does at one level. It does it at another level, combining two different therapies to make our bodies actually temples that serve the spirit and the soul to make our bodies whole and get rid of all the disease that's caused primarily by our own human culture of not being grounded and not ingesting pure water. We ingest water that has, even if it's natural spring water, it's already uh, pulled out a lot of the minerals and stuff like that from the earth so it, it its total absorptive capacity is reduced <coughs> because it's already gone through some processing when you put it in as distilled water it will pull out all of the toxicity from our <coughs> from our body <coughs> and have a tremendous healing effect well, I'm going to go out today and I'm going to, I mean, I haven't, I don't buy water, generally speaking. Uh, I, from the, the, the time that the first thing I did when I moved into this house has got a reverse osmosis system put in. Very first thing, and it's well water. I, my water's never been chlorinated or fluoridated because it comes right from the ground. Now, I'm not going to tell you that the ground water is totally pure, although I bless the water in the aquifer from which I and others in this neighborhood get their drinking water because most of us are have wells. This neighborhood is not on city water. Never has been. We always vote out the city from annexing this part of uh, the land that we live on. It remains just unincorporated Brevard County. In any case, uh, I'm going to give a period of time of drinking uh, distilled water because I want to see what benefits it has. Now, I know that my kidneys are not operating at full capacity due to the fact, uh, well, wh whatever, the, whatever the reason is for it, the evidence of it is the, the swelling in my feet still has not gone down a little bit, but it's still very uncomfortable, very unsightly, and I'm not happy with the way my feet feel or look. And the water build up there, I mean, there's some pairs of sh some of my shoes I couldn't even possibly get on my feet right now because my feet are too big. My, my, my dress shoes, my boots, uh, I, there's no way that I could put them on. I mean, I have to wear my oldest pair of loafers and wear sandals or flip-flops because they're the only things that'll, that'll go on to my feet uh, at this point in time. I've got maybe three, three pair of footwear that'll actually fit. And all the rest of my footwear is not going to work. Anyway, I am willing to try new things things that I may have thought in the past that I would not be willing to try. I'm willing to do what it takes to find a way to be whole again because I don't like the feeling of not feeling healthy. I don't like the feeling of feeling like I'm ready to die at any time. And I'm certainly not going to go the medical uh, route of the allopathic medicine. The, the doctors have been poorly trained as to what health care is. We've been lied to. The doctors were lied to and they perpetuate the lie by telling us things that they were taught as true. Folks, everything in the matrix is built on lies. Everything, including how our bodies function. Did you know that you began your life swimming in pee? You did, whether you knew it or not. When the water breaks, the water that breaks is urine. That's how we begin our life, in urine. Hmm. I wonder how long it's going to take me before I actually start ingesting urine, not just putting it on my finger and touching under my tongue. 
but actually ingesting it. I want for all of us to become whole again, to become the best we can be. And Mr. Weber said that it will help clear out the uh, pituitary gland and the pineal gland. and It will open us up spiritually and psychically so that our gifts will be more readily available to us and we'll be able to change ourselves and change the world. Well, it's worth doing some exploring of what nature has already provided and to look at some of the healing remedies that are primary to our being, probably essential to our evolution. I thank you for listening and pray that you consider with me some of the things that I am suggesting. Thank you. Namaste.